Welcome to your week one workout. Kelly's gonna help us out, and the first exercise is the squats behind a chair. Now, a few things with the squats. You want your legs shoulder width apart, even a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are slightly pointed out, not quite that much. There you go, that's gonna take pressure off of your knees. And let's do the first squat. So what I love about squats, it's the first exercise, it's a total lower body workout. It also warms up the body. Make sure you don't squat too low. If your legs break 90 degrees, that means you're going down too low. Three more, the chair is there just to support you. Don't. And breathe throughout, very nice. Shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Very good. Now we're gonna continue the squat series, only this time we're going to exaggerate the toes out Put the feet a little bit wider. Really support you. Don't really support all your weight on there. You want to really be doing the work of moving your own body weight. Three, where we do the abductor swing at the side of the chair. So move over to the side. Good posture, shoulders back, head straight up, and begin. And you might not be able to kick up too high, but hinge right at the hip, and that's where you're going to feel that motion, right at the hip. Good. Two more, last one. Now we're gonna start kicking behind. Good, two more, last one. Knee up and we're gonna add a little range of motion. Kick out to the side, there we go, very nice. Posture, shoulders back, head stretching on the inside of the leg, very good. Keep breathing. Very nice. That's looking really nice. Step all the way back. Make sure your knee does not go forward of your ankle. And in order to do that, you probably need to step in. Very nice posture. I want you to drop back just a little further. Very nice. Stretch. The key to this stretch is to have that heel down on the floor. That's what makes the stretch really. And just out to the side with the adductor swing. Not be able to kick that high at the first time, but trust me, by the end of the week, you'll be kicking just like Kelly is right now. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Reverse. But every exercise requires you to hold that abdomen good and tight. Kick straight back. Two more. Last one, and that good stretch. Again, you feel that along the uh, inner leg. Good. Knee up, over, down. Continue to breathe. Very good. Five more. Four more. Three more. Last one. And let's go into that reverse lunge. Just supporting yourself, adding balance by holding onto the chair, but not supporting your weight. Very good. One of the keys, everything you do requires good, strong abdomen and tensing that abdomen before you do any movement. Last one. That last one, you're gonna hold it. Again, when you hold that, you want that heel pressed against the floor, and that's what really, think about how hard you're working right now. Good. Excellent. We're going to get a quick stretch here. It's a middle to low back stretch while you're seated in the chair. Legs slightly apart and reach as far forward as you can. This is where you want to feel really good about how hard you're working. Continue to breathe throughout this stretch and hold this stretch. Five seconds at least. Even better if you hold it for 10 seconds. Take a nice deep breath and you can pick up the weights. Step seven, eight, nine, or 10. That means you're really challenging the body. But when you're doing a little trial and error, trying to figure out what weight to use, go on the light side and then move up as you know that you can lift that weight. Great. Okay, this is gonna be a reverse fly with the weights. You're gonna bend the torso forward just a little bit. Keep the shark the exercise. Good. Continue. Five more, four more, three more. Get into an overhead press. Take a deep breath in between 
and up. Very nice. And I want you to touch those weights this way. Just touch them. There we go. Good. Touch. Continue to breathe. Keep those abs nice and tight. And if you want to add a little challenge to this, you can lift one leg straight up. There you go. Drop those weights back. Good. Up. And again, one of the keys to this exercise is keeping that elbow up high above your head and not moving it. You're only moving the lower part of the arm. And up. One. Beautiful. Two. Common mistake is to go too far back. You really want to just break a 90 degree plane. That means you're really going to work hard and challenge that tricep. Tricep, obviously you know that's the back of your arm. Working really hard. Five more. Burning right in the muscle, in particular right at the tricep. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Let's have a nice deep breath. Good. Let's move on to bicep curls. The key to a bicep curl is that these elbows are pressed flat. Exercise. Pretend somebody is placing their hand right in the center. Nice tight abdomen. Two more. One more. And let's go right into a shoulder external rotation. Very good. The key to this is keep those elbows pressed tightly against your side and begin rotator cuff and it's one of the few exercises that gets these small muscles right in the shoulder. We're going to start here with a basic crunch with your feet up on the chair or you can use an exercise ball, anything that allows your leg to three more, two more, let something to support yourself, five more, four more, Three more, looks really good. Two more, one more. Now we're gonna lift the leg and move into a one, not only the head, but you're supporting the neck and that chin is coming straight up. You're not flapping the arms, very nice. Five more, four more, three more, two more, last one. And up towards the ceiling. Half the exercise is just holding that head in position, keeping the abs really tight, stabilizing your entire body using your abdomen. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Let's move into the side-to-side -side stretch. There we go. Let's drop those over. Stay on the mat. Let's keep both shoulders. And switch over to the other side. This helps align the back every day that you do this. Continue to breathe throughout this stretch. Get those knees up nice and high. Drop these legs just a little bit like that at 90 degrees. Continue to breathe. Focus on how hard you're working, how good you feel. And physically stretch yourself with this by pulling your toes towards you. And again, for those of you that cannot reach your toes, it's by just pulling yourself a little bit farther. Your torso goes down towards the ground and that's going to accentuate all the stretching along the back of the leg. Those lungs with air, again, nice deep breath. That was a great workout and that was a great workout.